Argentina's official inflation rate is currently 11%, which is well below any of the estimates that one can obtain using alternative data sources. In particular, I have used prices from online supermarkets and other retailers and consistently found for the last five years that the real inflation rate was between two to three times higher than officially reported. It is currently 25% compared to just 11% in official data. Now, I have used the same data sources and techniques in other Latin American countries, and I was able to closely approximate the official inflation estimate in those situations. The only exception was Argentina, so this strongly suggests that the Argentinian government is manipulating the inflation estimates. Now, understating inflation has a big impact on other economic statistics as well. For example, poverty estimates, which are 10% according to the government, rise to 26% once we take into account the alternative price indices. Another example is real GDP growth, which was around 10% in 2010 according to the government and was barely above 0% when the alternative inflation estimates are used. The official statistics, in fact, have been unreliable since 2007 when the government intervened in the National Statistics Institute and fired everybody responsible for constructing the consumer price index. Since then, the official index has basically lost all credibility. I think this manipulation of the data is just a very desperate attempt by a government that is trying to hide the negative consequences of its uh, policies. They are simply borrowing very heavily from the central bank, which prints money at increasingly faster rates, and this naturally leads to more uh, inflation. Now, lying about the inflation rate is only making things worse because when people do not have a credible official index uh, to base their expectations on, they tend to assume the worst. So inflation expectations have shot up and they haven't even come down when the economy went into a recession. The government has, uh, at the same time, shown no signs at all of wanting to stop lying with the inflation rate. It has even threatened and prosecuted independent Argentine economies that have produced and published alternative inflation metrics. Some of them were imposed, imposed very large fines, uh, others were even threatened with lawsuits, and many of those economies living in the country have had to stop publishing their own numbers. Also, some provincial governments that were publishing inflation rates which were much higher than the official uh, data have had to stop or they risk uh, uh, losing many tax transfers from the federal government. Now, if the government really wants to solve the inflation problem, it needs to start by recognizing that it exists. They need to face reality. Uh, that means putting back professionals in the National Statistical Institute and starting to compute a reliable and transparent price index. Of course, this will not be an easy task. Losing trust and credibility is something very easy to do, but gaining it back will take a very long time. Of course, there's no question that this is the way to, to, to start doing uh, this. And in the meantime, these measures of inflation based on online data can provide a reliable approximation to the true inflation rate in the country.